Hello, people. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate uh, what is possible if we have a, a PVM uh, modulator uh, to use it uh, for uh, to give a pulse into a ring core coil, one like this, and we put a PVM uh, uh, signal into it. Uh, on the secondary side, so the lower side, so in the 12 volt side, and then you take the two 20 cables to a uh, diode bridge, and then you take the plus and min to a capacitor, and I have here a capacitor that can go to 400 volts about 470 microfarads and from there I'm gonna put it into my Newman motor um, the little difference on this motor is, is that I have still a contact switch but the real switching is done by this one uh, it's much better uh, also f for the capturing from the back spike. Um, I placed between the collect collector and the eliminator, I placed a neon bulb so you can uh, see that the back uh, EMF uh, is, is really uh, giving uh, higher than you put in. And uh, I have on the moment on the output only another neon bulb to indicate that there is also uh, power on the outputs from this motor um, the only thing is now in the moment uh, when I use the uh, PWM module is that when I'm pulsing it um, and go up with the volt then the amp will go up and a lot up. Um, in the future, I want to uh, do it in another way. Um, I'm still busy with that, so I will come up uh, with a better one because it doesn't have to be like that. You, we don't have to use 3 amp to create uh, a higher uh, voltage to push it in the motor, there is another way for it, but this is the most simple and easy way to show uh, the, effect, the effect that the Newman motor can run on almost any voltage. Um, my motor will now uh, maybe run very slow if I just run it just from the 12 uh, volt. This sound that you hear is the is the coil, the PVM, and now the voltage is building up in this capacitor, and this is a bit uh, stationary. This is will be around what it will do at 12 volt okay I will now put it up to higher voltages this is like 20 30, 40, 30, yes. Yeah, that's, that's like energy here. It's very nice controllable in speed.
So this is just an idea how we can run our motor on very high voltages without putting uh, batteries together. Just uh, this, the input of this is 12 volt, and this uh, PWM module can handle to 6 amp and 30 volts as an input. And I'm making it like around 50 volts. I get maximum cap here when the motor is running. This is the radiant spikes that comes from our motor. Stuff you can only see with a neon bulb or scope and will not be shown by any multimeter. Multimeters go crazy with zero, with zero point energy and especially with this. Okay, that is what I wanted to show. Uh, success with building.